Hey, hey gang, how's it going? Heal Holly back at it again. And rocking the churn beats, of course, naturally. But uh, what we got right now here, we were uh, doing a little bit of research, and it looks like well, pretty much all of April, May, June has been hot as far as TV ratings. Highest that we've had. So, got to try to see if we can uh, make lightning a strike twice effectively. In the meantime, we'll turn that over a little bit so we don't see the edge of the screen. There we go. Yes, we got Monday night coming in. We got Nikolai Volkov coming in tomorrow. Uncle Retro, what's up? Thank you for the host. How are you doing? Hmm. I think right now I'm actually going to drop one of our storylines. I gotcha. Thank you. Always appreciated. I think even though we've started to kind of grow this one back up, the Medusa and Laparka storyline, I think I'm going to disband this storyline because it, it, it started out as Laparka versus Greg the Lovehammer. And Medusa kind of got wrapped into it. But I feel we can do some other stuff with anyone involved. So we're going to go ahead and unfortunately end that one. I might do some stuff with Medusa and Laparka and that whole thing later. But I want to focus on all these hot storylines we got. Plus trying to see if I can get the Iron Sheik. Having a hot storyline here with the uh, rest. Hmm. Let's see here, Sheik and Tabu. Okay, so they've both had Recent ones. I think he's going to crush the two of them in a uh, doubles. Okay. That's actually going to end the storyline, actually. We got a lot of... Ooh. Right? Shit, 92 rumble. I gotta I gotta do a little bit of research on that one. Because I I feel like Ah, uh, there we go. Oh uh, okay. Wow. I, I, I will say one thing already I think is a problem with that. The fact that um, the Road Warriors lost a title match. I'm going to say that right out the gate. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I agree with that for the rumble. I agree with that for the rumble, but I I might have to rewatch and see if I'm okay with the Road Warriors losing to uh, Natural Disasters by Countout, but when the purist in me says slap the belts on the fucking uh, Road Warriors. That that's just you know me. <laughs> Let's see here. Expected attendance for having it in the Great Lakes region. How about if we're having it in Mid-Atlantic? Uh, 
Midwest, quite a bit. Uh, Northwest, not a whole lot in attendance. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Manitoba, we're... Actually, our strongest region now in Canada is... Where? Ontario's our strongest region now, holy shit. And I do agree. Because as he's made it known, he is the 60 minute man. I mean, shit. 60, 60 minute fucking matches constantly up and down the roads. Something tells me that this is definitely not the uh, location I want to go here. I, I don't want to have any matches in India for, well, I'd be better off in India than I would be in Australia. Ooh, they really expanded Australia. I forgot about that, tell you what. Okay. Harley's gonna stop fucking around and get to some book in here. That way you at least get a card in first. Let's see here. Alrighty. Got you, got you. Thank you very much for stopping in. And um, I hope that you have a fantastic day at work and we'll catch you at some point here, I'm sure. Thank you once again, Uncle Retro. Who's got... Who's got good psychology, well-being, a fate? I love that Silver King has fantastic psychology. Fuck it, we're gonna put Silver King in here. He's got fantastic psychology. He's got at least 80. He can pull off a spectacle. He actually has better psychology than Sting. Holy shit. Tommy Lane actually has pretty good psychology as well. Fuck it, we're gonna put him in, in the main event. No, we're gonna replace him with... Yeah, no, we're gonna keep Tommy Lane in. And I think Tully Blanchard. Now this... is a, uh... strange bedfellows match indeed. Sting with the least psychology in the match. Hopefully he can learn a thing or two from Silver King. <laughs> I'm right to give this one no call. Ah, uh, what? The Silver King does not have the experience. He doesn't have the experience. Okay. This is going to be odd as fuck, as far as a matchup goes.
Thank you for the follow, just too phenomenal. How are you doing today? Oh yeah, we got some uh, we got some AWA in the 86 area. Um, funny enough, to try to get a little bit more international appeal, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger is now the owner of the AWA, but we did rehire Daddy Vern to be a road agent, to be like one of the head road agents, because he does understand in-ring, and he does understand that territory. Yeah, we got Greg as well. Working on trying to uh, get, I think, him through an injury and then get him and uh, Jim back into being some contenders on the tag team scene again. Although right now we, funny enough, have uh, Hall and Oates, Scott Hall and Ted Oates. I think Lawler is... I gotta check to see if he's... Um... If he's on an exclusive right now, he might not be right now. He's he's one of my grabs because at some point I'm gonna do a brand split just to make a uh, East Conference and a West Conference, and I think he would be fantastic for the East Conference. Let's see here, we got that. Um, oh, we also did steal, uh, as far as um, out, out of ring personnel, we did steal back uh, Gene Okerlund from the WWE, right? I wonder if the Memphis territory is still up and running. There's a few people who've uh, fallen, unfortunately, too, and a couple of them... A couple of them were, um, oh yeah, CWA, I'm pretty sure they're still around, yeah. Let's see, right now Mid-South and uh, Jim Crockett Promotions are kind of the most dominant ones in the country financially, but we're still the uh, top overall. Uh, let's see here. I feel like I want to put Superstar on the card just because I don't want to waste having Superstar on the card, you know. Hmm. I have a national TV deal now on TBS. Oh, yeah. I think I was eligible with them maybe a couple weeks after I hit medium size, so... Unfortunately, I don't have a pay-per-view carrier yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if they if they do then holy shit Ted Turner's double dipping. <laughs> I I think uh Jim Crockett promotion is still mad when I uh both obtained Tully, Bran uh, Tully Blanchard, who is now on both of our rosters, as well as Dusty Rhodes. With Dusty Rhodes being the head booker over there, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, I actually have him as a manager at the moment, but yes, he would be the... He would be a fantastic commissioner. Because right now... Right now I have him managing uh, Steve Kern and Tom Pritchard. Ooh, who do I... I, I want someone with high psychology because I want a good psychological match in the middle of the card. No, he is exclusively signed over to uh, Jim Crockett Promotions. That was one of the biggest things that pissed me off was when they got their hands on him. Wait, why was it not showing Billy Graham there? Because he's not in any other matches tonight. Yeah, not currently booked. Oh, I must... Uh, Ooh, there we go. I, 
I know I should have, but I was really having to penny pinch. The the mod builder did not really establish AWA quite at its true 85 strength, so I had to penny pinch a little bit. So I worked on a little bit less expensive guys. Hence why I did end up grabbing DDP. Yeah, I actually, I've seen some information about that. And um, the guy who, the guy who made it was talking to me and asking if I wanted to try it out and was offering me, it was gonna offer me a Steam key at first and then he just kind of like dropped me. <laughs> like, I was really looking forward at checking that one out. Let's see here. Steve Kern is considered a major star. He's got fantastic psychology. I think that Billy Graham and Steve Kern can get a. Oh. Okay, I gotcha. Nice. Thank you for the intel. I'll have to try to relink up with him on that. At ringside, doing a little bit of scouting. I think I'm gonna have uh, Stan Lane. We did actually have the fabulous ones as tag team champs, managed by Paul Ellering, because when WWF stole our Road Warriors, they didn't steal Paul Ellering. Um, I wanna say over here it's, um, I thought I saw it clocking at 19 dollars maybe question mark um but as me guessing yeah 1999 so 1999 plus sales tax would be like i want to say what 21 here in wisconsin 21 something so it's definitely potential Yeah, 2109 rounded up. Ooh, ooh, nice. I I'm digging that already. Right? Oh, I, I should, I should, uh, State that right now we are actually currently at war with the WWF in this save. We declared war on them when we were still small. <laughs> now we're medium and there's still 10 million in the hole over in the WWF. Kind of great. Let's see here. So we got. Power Team and Sting versus the Four Horsemen represented in this matchup. We have um, Midnight Express versus Gold Standard represented here. Okay. Thank you very much for checking that out. I like it. Battle of the Hacksaws is represented. We've got Mm. Muscle Saito's Rage is not represented yet, so we're going to have an angle for that. Actually, we're going to have a backstage brawl breakout between Cactus Jack, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, who I still need to get working on pushing him to the moon, as well as their respective feuds. <laughs> here with the great muda in here and uh road warrior smash not devilishian smash mind you right it could yeah i may or may not have uh decided to make demolition my new road warriors 
with the fact that WWF stole my Road Warriors. Because I'm going to bring the Road Warriors back as soon as I'm financially able to steal them. And then there's going to be a feud. There's going to be a huge feud. There's going to be a feud between... Oh, okay. Interesting. Here, I think I have all... That's represented. I have that represented. Okay, I have all my storylines represented at the very least. Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna have Chris Markov and Ivan Kolov taunt our tag team champions of Scott Hall and Ted Oates. Ted Oates, a random worker from Territory Days who we've made a huge deal of somehow in the AWA. I love it. I kind of fucking love it. here Brad Ryan's is getting a little bit closer to finding out why during that last, not the last tournament, but the last bracket tournament, Cactus Jack attacked Masa Saito of Team Japan. And let's just say a little something. Muda is looking to take over. A little bit of heel on heel action there. Oh, okay, nice. Thank you for checking that out, though. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Quinkle's gonna hype up. I would say, what are the features that you like about that one versus TEW? Just out of curiosity, I'm, I'm curious to see what all they've introduced that makes it different. Because I'm, I've been curious about it. I, I'm still a little bitter at that motherfucker for uh, being like, oh, hey, 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 I want to give you a beta key. Are you interested? Yeah, sure. And then fucking... <laughs> ah, okay, I gotcha. Tom Pritchard, so that's gonna be Stan Lane and Bobby Eaton. Interviewer is gonna be Rod Tron Guard on this one. Oh, nice. Ah, I see. Jim Cornette's going to talk up Stan Lane, Bobby Eaton versus Steve Kern and Dr. Tom Pritchard. He's going to talk them up with uh, Gene Okerlund. And now I have an announcer for both the East and West conferences because I have Rod Trongard and I have Gene Okerlund. I love it.
Okay. Nice. Yep. Once again, we see that they have terrible chemistry as partners, but this is actually going to be the last thing there. Ah, I gotcha. Nice. Pearl's dil uh, show's building up a little bit, kind of decent, but really? No, it's not really. It's more so a ooh. Oh yeah, I'm definitely down to uh, the stream it at some point here. By the skin of our fucking teeth. As low as most of the mid card on that one was. We did pull it off. I, I'm thinking I'm thinking here maybe after the next paycheck. That would be around Friday. Right now I'm just trying to hold in because I've been uh, paying back some bills or taking care of some bills a little bit, so. Ooh. We can accept Laparco's thing here, because he's getting, he's getting over good. Moondog Rex has indeed signed a contract with the. Oh, we got we got WWF spending more money on Moondog Rex than they were at first. Ooh. That would be, sounds interesting for sure. Yes, Kurt, you're a little bit pissed off because you've been off of a couple, but we've been giving, we've been giving you a little bit of time, Kurt. You, you were running like a marathon on a bunch of shows there. Oh. All right, so now, Nikolai Volkov is going to be... I'm going to be right back. I need to really quick take a piss, but I'm going to be just a moment here. In the meantime, I'm going to do that quick.
All right, I'm back. All right, so we're gonna have Team Russia. But I have a little trick up my sleeve, actually. There we go. We got, we got uh, mm, syndication, small level in Canada, medium in US. And we have uh, tiny, very small, tiny, da 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 da, all over the rest of the world. Because we have our own broadcaster. I love this. I fucking love this. Wait. I thought I thought Nikolai Volkov debuts today. Doesn't start for another two, damn it. So we can't do that yet. That pisses me off. Okay, so. Oh, we have incidents to take care of. Dear Briscoe is teaching some psychology psychology to Tracy Smothers. I'm good with that. Hell yeah. I don't have any pay-per-view um, deals out right now. I need to get a couple more. Um, right. There, there's a, there's a couple that I'm close to on popularity because I, I I've been looking for those. I think at least on um, terrestrial, I'm close in America by I need to get two more regions at 60 or above to get a deal. There's the gold standard and where's the Midnight Express? Recognize one star. I don't quite meet the qualifications for that yet. We're still building up to it. Uh, that's the one that I think needs, uh, I think 40. How oh, is Scott Steiner's experience is still lower? I do want to have the Rougeau brothers actually get a win. Um. I'm going to put them in a steal the show with an open thing. That's going to that's gonna be our match to start things off. Rougeos versus the Steiners. With Scotty still being new enough, I can justify the Rougeos winning. We're going to have a little bit of payback backstage afterwards for sure, though.
And because Jim Duggan is injured, I think we're going to have... Uh, I'm pretty sure as far as the high flyers go, I think uh, only one of the two is able to go fully. Yeah, right now we're going to have Jim Duggan and Butch Reed. We're going to have the Hacksaws battle it out. Gonna do a storytelling. There we go. We're also gonna end the feud here because You know, so, sometimes we gotta have our shorter feuds on the uh, lower card guys as we're trying to build them up. We're gonna put Teddy Long. We're gonna put Teddy Long, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a cheap win, that's for sure, or a tainted win rather. Teddy Long's gonna see it, and he's not gonna call it for reasons. We're getting closer and closer to pulling the trigger, though, because. Um, October, we get Ron Simmons in the business. Joe LaDuke, he could use a win. I like the fact that Silver King was in a match that got a fucking 69 on the main event of last night's show. Because, well, let's face it, that's, that's fucking great exposure in general for that low tier of a uh, dude to get in on there. Joe Leduc's just gonna destroy Jake the Milkman Milliman. He's gonna destroy him. Cause that's the way we need to do it. We need to build Joe Leduc up a little bit more. Um, but... Do I want to trade any titles off tonight. I don't think I want to do anything with the tag. Ninety-five, okay, so all the notes have been keeping it up at fifty-nine since they got or have raised it back up to fifty-nine since they got the belt and Looks like Malenko's reign is a little bit overextended now. And with him having a bit higher of a popularity. We had him at star for a second there. I think we actually want to go ahead and try to put another belt on Akira here. I'm 
Gonna do everything we can to protect Malenko there. While still keeping it a little bit regular. So now we're working our way up the card. Oh, uh, let's see here. I think that we will do this. We're gonna keep Bam Bam strong, we're gonna keep Vader strong, but we want to give Ivan and Markov a win to really bring something in when we finally bring in Nikolai Volkov. It'll be a triple threat instead of elimination. Coco Beware is going to be defending the TV title against Sheik Adnan al Kasi and Sabu. And effectively, the match is just going to get thrown out. There we go. I think we'll switch those two around. There we go. Formation of a new alliance. There we go. Chica Nanakasi and uh, Sabu are turning.
There we go. And Luger, what's your experience? 20, so maybe, maybe not. Ah, uh, let's see here. This is going to be kind of anticlimactic. Uh, Backland and maybe Don Coronado. Got better psychology than Sarge, actually, funny enough. There we go. Build an epic out of that one. Talk about Backland, give uh, Billy Graham the win. We're gonna to wanna to put Brian Hildebrand on there. And yeah, I think Nick Bockwinkel road agenting, that one is fine. We keep it to him, Boris Malenko, or uh Ah shit, who else? Him, Bachwinko, Boris Malenko, or uh, Vern Gagne were good on the main event road agent. That's what I believe. Let's see. Rear Smash. The Great Muda. We're actually going to get a jump on Steve Williams and Cactus Jack.
There we go. I think I have all storylines represented at the very least. I said I can. Let's see here. We got two storylines coming to an end on this show as well. Oh, eggs already. Give me one moment though. Okay, um... Worker is getting ready. We'll go ahead and give that one to, uh... Uh... We will give that one to Butch Reed. sell you're gonna sell uh you're gonna sell the mystery beat down here Coco beware I'm gonna give you a little moment in the sun there Malenko same for you One, two, three left. Um, go ahead and have Sting be the one who the who gets the uh, op coming out. And his occasional tag team partner, not in any kind of formal setting, but I've tagged before. Here in the AWA with my booking. His his other <laughs> tag team partner of occasion. Also we'll get a shot there. Tell you what. 
And I think... Who's more over between Backland and Race right now? Uh, they are both kind of similar. So I think we're going to actually give it to Harley Race. Just because he has a manager who can help improve it a little bit more even. And we have the full show booked every minute of every second of every day of this card. Okay, a nice little 61 to start out action. Scott Steiner showing just how much better he is starting to get in this. Look at that, look at that. He's no longer being looked at as a weak link in the match. Fantastic. Nice little storyline here to uh, end out the uh, beginning of the uh, card. Ooh, thing showing all kinds of damage. Jake Milliman, naturally not very good, but that's why we try to use him very little. He He's a guy who does a job, but he knows he does a job. Sometimes he does this job well. Most of the time, yeah, he just does the job. Ooh. Ooh, we gained. We gained heat on this storyline right as we close it out, too. I like it. And we now have the Iron Sheik, Sheik Adnan al Kasi, and Sabu aligned. But that's not all. Oof. Damn, Crusher Lazowski. Doing some good work as a road agent, making sure people are playing fucking by the rules, tell you what. Alrighty. We're 25 followers away from doing another... From scheduling another 12-hour stream. Akira getting a nice win over Dean Malenko, potentially giving him a little bit of momentum. And a fantastic matchup here, actually. Fantastic matchup, all things considered. Bobby Eaton still, I guess, growing into his paws. Same thing with Tom Pritchard. Because Lax Luger actually got a decent fucking rating on this match. Probably Blanchard pretty much carrying the match, it looks like, though. Another 69. So two matches that are 69 ought to help big time on the ratings. And then 81 to finish out the show. Look at that popularity growth. Tell you what. Oh my God.
Damn it, Ricky Steiner. We're keeping him. We're keeping Bam Bam. See here. How how is our relationship with them? CWA went out of business a while ago. Shit. That's why. Um. Okay, so Lawler's working in Mid South. Okay, so Dennis Condry is no longer injured, it looks like. Hmm. Compare him a little bit more. Nikolai Volkov is now with us. Mike Graham. But question is, did he draw a dime there? go we have two co-leaders Okay, there we go. 
that's everything that I got as far as that goes. Let's see here. Okay, it wasn't terrestrial. It was, uh... Hey, look at that. 60 popularity in four regions. I was right, I still don't meet those requirements. Almost like I knew. Granted, we're almost in 50s here with Mid-South, Mid-Atlantic, and Tri-State. And we're at 55 in the Northwest. Go ahead and look, look back at the active promotions now. They are on U.S. syndication medium, okay. Actually, Jim Crocker Promotions, let's see. They're on TBS on an evening slot, okay. Nikolai Volkov and Ivan Kolov, as well as the Iron Sheik and Sheik Adnan 
Alka C. There we go. Kira's gonna beat Tom Zink in spectacular fashion. Let's see here. Wait, Stan Lane got the win and still went down to well-known? How's that possible? Do you have to ask that? He was a star still after this match, and then he... One in a match against how the fuck? I think this game just hates me sometimes. Pretty sure. I think he's going to be pulling double duty tonight. Losing one, but winning the next. Muda's definitely going to get distracted by Cactus. Actually, you know what? No. Cactus is being inserted into this match. See here. Up to challenge. Muda just straight up comes on out. The challenge. 
not gonna do two separate angles. He's just coming out while Sting's still in the ring and Sting's gonna take it. Meanwhile, coming out from the back, going after Muda is Cactus Jack, so that takes care of that. Woodware smash. Mm, you know what? No. And she can Nikolai Volkov versus Sergeant Slaughter. And um, Rick Steiner of American Pride. Arrogancia, thank you for the follow. How are you doing? What are you do or what are you up to today? Volkov's going to be the one to take the win, but we got to do keep strong on Rick Steiner and Slaughter there. Use this match to kind of cool the crowd off, though, before a fantastic main event. Allegedly. I say allegedly because, well, let's face it. I cannot be 100%. We're gonna go with the uh, highest possible psychology we can again while keeping a face. Heel split. Bob Backlund. Don Carnado. Which will give us the potential on a. Billy Graham, Harley Race for the, yeah, that gives us access to that storyline again. But instead of doing an epic, I think we're going to make a spectacle out of this one. I think that's the safe bet. And we'll keep it off of a slow build. Keep Backlund strong, but uh, give Billy Graham the win. Try to see if we can build him back to uh, top of the card, top of the walk, you know what I mean? Cock of the walk, etc. Um, Where is my four horsemen interview angle? There we go. Larry Zabisco, Arn Anderson. Toby Blanchard, Terry Gordy, I think we're going to put Gene Okerlund on that angle, for sure. We got one, two spots left for angles here. And we can add some time onto some matches now as well. Paul Ellering is going to hype up. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Oh, that's right. Now that that means Polly dangerously. <gasps> Polly dangerously was managing the iron sheep. You know what this means, right? Polly dangerously is now managing Sabu. He's also now managing Chica Don Al Kasi. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. Polly Dangerously is the one who brokered the deal between Nikolai Volkov and Iron Sheik. Considering their past history. There we go. Polly Dangerously and... Okay, there we go. Ivan Kolov is the last one to add. Add him in there as support for Team USSR. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. There we go. And... Let's see here. Smash and Big Van Vader are gonna get into a backstage brawl with. Oh, you know what? I know what I need to do. Yeah, that's gonna be after this one though. Steve Williams and Ricky Steiner. Polly Dangerously is going to hype up Team USSR. Thursday night show. Going to go ahead and hit that start button. Ah. Markov and Polly dangerously don't seem to work together, apparently. Okay. Getting the pin on Sting, holy shit. I 
And a stellar match right here to follow that up. Should get Sting back some momentum, as well as hypes up their feud. I like it. World War Three. there we go. Just overall fantastic show. 69. Hell yes. I'm gonna do it for a year again, just in case. Same thing with Shane Douglas, why not? I might actually send him down to developmental, just so he gets more use. You want 60 more bucks? Sure. His paper appearance anyways. And I hardly have him on, so I don't give a shit. I've got a piss though. So give me one moment though, and I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. And we are getting ready to uh, run the last show of the week here in one momento. Trying to see if I have one from when he was We're in the face paint. No, because of course when he was tagging with Sting for one specific momento. He had done, so I was like, oh, you know what? We'll, we'll see about that. Uh. Not gonna lie, as far as engagement goes, you know, I put as much energy as I get coming in. <laughs> That's why I'm not really giving a shit. But. this jack with a psychology oh why did his psychology boost and then drop what the fuck hey what's up live wire leo how's it going dude we're just getting ready to book the last show of the day or of the week rather Oh, absolutely. Excellent, excellent. Gracias.
Hope everything is going fantastic. Oh, dude, no worries at all. No worries at all. Understandable. I get how that can go totally. Totally. I had a point where I couldn't watch Frankie because my work schedule, but then I was also trying to get streams in, so I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's understandable, dude. Always appreciate it, though. For sure. Fantastic. You know what is going to be really fantastic? When I put Harley Race in this match, and we have some of the highest psychology in the AWA going at it. A nice spectacle of the evening. I'm going to keep it open to anyone who who they decide to book to win it. Uh, who do I got road agenting though and who do I got? Brian Hildebrand has to be refing this match. And I think... Yeah, I'm going to put Boris Malenko on as road agent. Let's see here. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, curious as far as the Resident Evil announced for DBD. It's it's going to be interesting, I think. Either they're going to grand slam it or they're going to really fuck it up though. I don't think there's going to be a in between on that. I think I think even more than Silent Hill, where all they did is, you know, do a killer pyramid head. You almost have to do just a killer with DBD or for RE as well, because uh, a lot of your a lot of your heroes RE side should be a bit above the level with uh, half of the half of the survivors in the game. So I'm curious to see what they do. Granted, I would love an indoor map, an outdoor map for one, the manor from RE1 and two, outdoor for uh, Raccoon City. That would be fucking great. Oh yeah. Nemesis is who I would think is the better visual one. Although I could see them trying to go for Wesker. But yeah, ne Nemesis was my go-to as well. At this point, Nemesis is the one that I would be completely okay with them being just super overpowered because, well, let's face it, Nemesis. I, I I don't think any of the DVD killers really have anything on Nemesis, in all honesty.
Uh, here. I think we can have them pull off a spectacular match here. A little bit of a steal the show. Meanwhile, I think go ahead and reset our search paradigms. That way we can get more people in general. We got to have Sting on the card. John Nord is going to dominate the matchup just to help protect his popularity a little bit with Sting coming out on top. And a little bit of a calm the crowd style match. Yeah, I, I don't know what they would do if they did a zombie. Hey. I would be half. I would be half alright with them even putting in if they needed if they needed something monstrous but not too overpowered, I'd be alright with them even taking Jack Krauser from uh, Resident Evil 4. He wouldn't be the worst. I think I would say outside of Nemesis, Jack Krauser alright. Thank you very much for stopping in. Take her easy and have a great one now, Leo. Good to see ya. One more match on. This little exhibition bout between the Steiners and the Faces of Fear. Bam Bam's gonna be watching at ringside, as will Big Van Vader.
All right. I'd take care of a little bit of business there.